So it's the Super League night, supposed to collapse, it seems, in the coming hours. So hello guys, together here, and here we go, because maybe the Super League is out. The Super League is going to be suspended if we continue like this, with the English clubs tonight announcing that they are out from the Super League. So what I can say is that now it's totally confirmed and official that the English clubs are out. Also, Chelsea are preparing their statement to confirm that they will be out from the project of the Super League. They were playing tonight against Brighton, so that's why they're waiting, but they will be out. So Manchester City, Manchester United, Liverpool, Tottenham, Arsenal and Chelsea are out of the Super League. Inter, Juventus and the Milan will decide together in the coming hours if going on in this project or leave this project in the next hour. So tomorrow we will know more about the Italian clubs. We wait for the position of the president of Real Madrid, Florentino Perez. He was expecting to speak tonight. He's also the president, not just of Real Madrid, but also of the Super League. So we were expecting Florentino Perez to speak tonight to El Larguero in Spain, but he's not speaking. He's in the meeting with the other clubs of the Super League. So Florentino is not speaking tonight. Let's see what happens in the coming hours also with the situation of Atletico Madrid and Barcelona because Juan Laporta and Atletico Madrid board have to give her an answer in the coming hours. So English clubs out, Spanish club to decide in the coming hours and Italian clubs to decide all together about the Super League. The feeling around is that the Super League will be soon suspended, guys suspended because without the English clubs will be really difficult to carry on and to continue this project. I see you talking a lot of you about the situation of the single clubs and of the single directors of the club. So let's remember in Manchester United, Ed Woodward has resigned. So Ed Woodward will leave Manchester United at the end of 2021. At Juventus, we have a lot of rumors around Andrea Agnelli, but the president of Juventus at the moment is not leaving the club. Let's see what happens with many others English clubs. I see a lot of you going against the single people in the clubs, but at the moment still nothing decided about the single board, but the English clubs are out of the Super League. So the feeling is that the Super League will not go on. It's something big for European football, guys. We have to say thank you to you, to the fans, because you did an amazing work going against the Super League, but also to the players, because not only managers were talking, we see Pep Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp, and many others talking against the Super League, but guys, also the players. What happened in the coming hours, in the next hours, sorry, in the last hours with many players of Manchester United, for example, Bruno Fernandes, together with Luke Shaw, was going to talk with the board of Manchester United to say, we don't want the Super League. We want football for everyone, and not just for rich people. So imagine how strong was the position of the players, how strong was the position also from the fans, how strong was the position with the managers. So guys, the Super League is a real danger. I can tell you that in the coming hours, Spanish clubs and also Italian clubs will take their position. English clubs are out. We have to remember that Paris Saint-Germain and Bayern Munich and Red Bull Leipzig and also Borussia Dortmund, they are all against the Super League. So no Bayern Munich, no Paris Saint-Germain. The feeling around is that this project will collapse in the coming hours and let's see how it develops. Because you remember yesterday night, Florentino Perez in his interview to El Chiringuito said, the Super League will continue also if, you, if the clubs will decide to, go up, to give up. The Super League will continue. And at the moment, it seems completely different. So guys, at the moment, they are in real danger. And the real football, the Champions League football, could be back soon. Alexander Seferin, the president of UEFA, in the last hour said, welcome back to Manchester City. They were the first to announce they are out of the Super League, together with Chelsea, because soon will happen also. Chelsea will announce they are out of the Super League, but Alexander Seferin immediately said, the president of UEFA, welcome back, we understand your mistake, we want you back in the Champions League. So let's see if it could happen also with the other English clubs, Italian clubs and Spanish clubs. I'm so curious to see what happens with Florentino Perez, the president of Real Madrid, and with the other chairman involved in the situation of the Super League. But at the moment, UEFA are open to talk with ex-clubs and to restart Champions League together with the big ones. So, guys, it's really an incredible situation. Imagine that in 48 hours, everything has changed in football, in European football. They were planning to change. They were planning for an elite football, elite league, elite competition. But at the moment, there is nothing because English clubs are out. Spanish clubs are working to decide about their position, apart of Real Madrid, obviously, because of Florentino Perez. And let's see what happens with Italian clubs. 
The rumors about AC Milan leaving the league are serious, but non -conf not confirmed yet. Let's see what happens in the coming hours, because Inter, AC Milan and Juventus will decide all together for the next step with the Super League. So guys, I'll I read your questions. I read that you want to know what's going to happen right now with the domestic leagues. Another key point, guys, was about the domestic leagues, because the Football Association in England said to the English clubs, 100% sure, you will not play in the Premier League if you want to play in the Super League. So it was key also from Boris Johnson and from the FA to, get, to go against these clubs. You won't play in the Super League. You will never play again in the Premier League. So that's why also these clubs understood their mistakes and they said, OK, let's step back now. And now we are back with a normal situation with the English clubs. You're asking about Krenke at Arsenal. His position at the moment, there is nothing confirmed yet, but we can say that 100% at the moment, all the situation of the board of the clubs will be in danger, guys, because they were going full convinced on the Super League, and now after 48 hours, they are in a completely different situation. So, what are UEFA and FIFA going to, going to do to stop this happening again? They will do from UEFA and FIFA, guys, something to protect the league, with something new also for the Champions League. I'm really curious to see what happens with the clubs that were directly involved in the Super League, talking like Real Madrid and Juventus and many others that were directly involved with the president as vice chairman or president as Florentino Perez. Because the relationship between the president of UEFA, Alexander Seferin, and the president, Florentino Perez, Andrea Agnelli, Joe Glazer, and many others, is really, really dangerous. So, what I can say is that now, in the last minutes, the feeling around the Italian clubs, Inter and AC Milan in particular, is that they are prepared to leave the league tomorrow. So in the coming hours, something will change also for the Italian clubs. But guys, the key is, one, the Super League is going to be suspended if we continue like this. With Italian clubs ready to leave, with English clubs already left the Super League, and guys... Let's see what happens, but for sure, at the moment, it seems that European football will continue, as we know, will continue to be full of stories that happened with Leicester, with also the situation of, of Atalanta here in Italy, and of many other clubs also dreaming of playing in the Champions League. And I think it's really interesting also to see the position from the players and the other managers in the coming days, because guys, trust me, Really, the Super League is going to be something that we will remember because it will never happen. It will be suspended in the coming hours, it seems. And so let's see for Italian and Spanish clubs, but English clubs are out and the Super League is in real danger. Thank you, guys. We stay in touch. I'll leave you with a small transfer news because I can confirm, as I say many times, David Alaba from Bayern Munich will join Real Madrid as a free agent. So remember that transfers are going on and not only the Super League. So we're going to talk about it in the coming hours, but David Alaba to Real Madrid is close to be, and here we go in the coming hours. As always said, only Real Madrid, no Barcelona, no Paris Saint-Germain, no Chelsea, no other clubs, only Real Madrid. But guys, the main news today is 100% the situation of the Super League is getting really, really complicated. It's close.